everyone. Today, I'll show you how to create an awesome, addressable RGB LED controller with our favorite ESP8266 module. I've created one for myself, and I'm using it to control the LED strips of my computer desk and computer case. Basically, ESP8266 is a Wi-Fi module with built-in microcontroller. This microcontroller is Arduino compatible, which means, it can be programmed easily by using Arduino IDE software. The reason behind using ESP8266, is for being cheaper than any other microcontroller. Anyway, without further talking, let's see how to create this ESP RGB LED controller. Here is the diagram. Note that, ESP module should be powered with 3.3 volts. By following the diagram, the ESP RGB LED controller easily can be made. But, I'm using this ESP RGB LED controlling adapter to simplify the video. And yes, the adapter can be powered with 3.3 to 5 volts. For example, I'll use this addressable RGB LED ring. As you can see, there are total 16 LEDs on the ring. I'll control them using the ESP module. But, first we have to program the ESP8266 module. So, I'm using the USB to serial adapter to program the ESP module. To make the ESP module go into serial programming mode, GPIO0 pin has to be connected to the ground pin. However, these pins are not connected on the serial converter module. So, I added a button underneath the serial converter module. This button allows me to connect GPIO0 to the ground pin. Now, I'll connect it to the computer. While connecting, I'll press and hold the button. This will put the ESP module into programming mode. At first, I'll open Arduino software, and install a library called WS2812FX. I have another video on ESP8266 module, watch that video, if you don't know how to program the ESP8266 module. Links provided in the video description. After installing the library, I'll open a library example named, ESP8266 Web Interface. Basically, the ESP module will act like a mini web server after uploading the sketch. But, few things has to be said before uploading the sketch. The ESP module needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi router. Right here, we have to put the router or access point name and password. After setting the access point name and password, we've to set the LED count, which means how many LEDs are on the strip. I'm changing the LED count to 16. Because, our LED ring has only 16 LEDs. Now, I'll upload the code. Now, everything is set. All we need to do is connect everything, and test whether our ESP RGB LED controller works or not.
Now, let's see how to control the LED strip. At first, I'll go to the router's control page, and see if our ESP module connected to the router or not. As you can see, our ESP module is connected to the router. All we need to do is, copy its IP address and paste and search it on a browser. This IP address will lead us to the RGB control page. Note that, internet connection is not required for this project. There are lots of color mode and effects available. But, I'm demonstrating few modes and effects, to make the video short and compact. That's all for now, hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching, stay innovative.